Hi, I'm Francis. I'm going to talk about uh, porting leak sanitizer. First, some background. Um, leak sanitizer is a memory leak checker, which was originally designed as a replacement for the heap checker from Google Perf Tools. Um, has some big advantages, uh, primarily performance and the ability to tell the difference between direct and indirect leaks. Uh, also fixes some multi-threading bugs and uh, has built-in support for suppressions files. However, heap, a heap checker is supported on a lot of platforms. Uh, the green platforms are fully supported and the yellow ones work pretty much. You have to fiddle a little bit with your code base. On the other hand, leak sanitizer is not supported very many places. Um, the yellow platforms are close but need some bug fixes or small features. However, address sanitizer is supported on a lot of platforms, more than heap checker, and provides a lot of the basic functionality needed for leak sanitizer. Um, so I'm going to talk about the steps you need to take to get from address sanitizer to the ability to look for leaks. Uh, so you need the ability to suspend threads and parse their state. Uh, you need the ability to generate a memory map. And uh, you need to be able to handle platform-specific data sections. So um, when we suspend threads uh, on Linux, we can use ptrace. And we can also use ptrace to get information about those threads. On Darwin, we don't have ptrace, so we use the thread suspend and thread get state system calls. And um, we use this information to scan the registers and the stacks in each thread for heap pointers, which we then ignore by default um, when looking for leaks. Uh, the next step is to generate a memory map. Um, on Linux and on FreeBSD, we can just parse the proc maps file. On Darwin, we don't have a proc maps file, so we use the dynamic loader image APIs in conjunction with the VM region recurse system call. Um, once we have a memory map, we determine which sections contain static data um, and global variables. And we, by default, ignore uh, pointers to the heap stored in those sections as well. And finally, we um, locate the thread local storage, which um, is usually stored as some sort of offset in the FS or GS registers, uh, depending on the architecture and the operating system. Uh, and then the last step is uh, to handle any platform-specific behavior with um, uh, heap data. So on Linux, this means that we ignore linker allocations by default, uh, because they're often uh, dynamic thread local storage blocks. And on Darwin, it means that we ignore pointers stored in the kernel alloc once page, uh, because the system uses this to store singleton data pointers. Uh, we also need some special handling of memory mapped regions because they aren't reported by the dynamic loader APIs, so they aren't present in our memory map. And uh, libdispatch also uses um, memory mapped pages for some uh, pointer storage as well. Uh, so once we have a port of leak sanitizer, um, there's uh, a few like slightly increasing steps you can use to test the port and make sure it's working nicely. So First would be to enable the leak sanitizer test suite from compiler RT. Uh, it's a pretty small test suite, but it covers common use cases and common bugs. Uh, the next step would be to enable leak checking in the address sanitizer test suite, which is uh, quite a bit bigger and covers a pretty solid amount of use cases. Uh, finally, for Darwin, we run bootstrapped ASIM builds of LLVM and Clang on the build butts. Um, so I enabled leak detection on those bootstrap builds as well. And at that point, if you aren't seeing any false positives and the performance looks OK, you can be pretty sure that the port at least works on C++ code, because uh, LLVM and Clang are pretty big, and the test suite is pretty extensive. Uh, then to get beyond C++ code, um, I enabled leak detection on Mac on a very large internal project we have, um, ranging across a pretty big set of languages, Objective-C, Swift. Um, and then comparing the behavior of that test suite with leak, sanitizer, leak sanitizer on Linux and with the heap checker from Google Perf Tools on Mac and on Linux. Um, comparing first to look for false positives and make sure we don't um, see any leaks that um, are not actually leaks that are not found by the other leak checkers, but also to compare the performance overhead and make sure that um, going from address sanitizer to address sanitizer plus leak sanitizer on Mac isn't uh, significantly worse than doing the same thing on Linux. Uh, that's it. Thanks.